Hello dear friends, welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. My name is Jory, my lovely wife Binna Mae is not joining me today. I have a special video for you, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do so and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Make sure you like, share, and turn on the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. Why I love my black queen. And the reason I'm doing this, I was thinking a little bit about just all that we've been through. We've been married 12 years and we've been through a lot. And right now we're going through a lot of making some big decisions and a lot of things are happening. And um, it just makes me think why I love, appreciate, and like my black queen so much. And I wanted to share some of those things with you guys. Why I'm so happy to have her. All right, number one, the first thing I think of is that my wife is spiritual and compassionate. Uh, her first reaction to anything is to look to God, is to pray, is to see what his word says. And I love that about her and that her heart of compassion is it's for people. It's for those who who need compassion. A lot of times it's me <laughs> or the kids or someone around us. And I love that about my wife, that she's spiritual first. She goes to God. I can trust that, uh, that she will look to him for answers. I love that about her. The number two reason that I think my black queen is amazing is that she is flexible and resourceful. Now, I don't mean that she, she's a gymnast. What I'm saying is that she can handle situations in life that uh, might be challenging or, or difficult and adjust, be flexible to move with what she needs to move with. Um, there were times, uh, especially in South Carolina, where she had to be extremely flexible with, you know, when I would have a job or not have a job, or when we would have a good car or not have a good car. Um, you name it, job, kids, life, church, family, she's, she's flexible. She can roll with the punches. She can she can do what she needs to do, and she's resourceful. She knows how to find what, what we need, what she needs, um, to take care of the family, to take care of herself, to, to do what needs to be done. And I love that about her. So what I mean by resourceful is, like for example, the moment that we signed on our house in South Carolina, I got laid off from my job. We didn't know what we were gonna do. My wife was able to hunt and find some temporary work that we were able to do. We were delivering phone books I know it sounds crazy, but we delivered phone books to doorsteps to make enough money that we could continue with the payments on the house. And by the grace of God and my wife's beautiful resourcefulness, we never missed a payment. Um, so until we could, you know, secure work again. So that was a fantastic way that she's resourceful. I mean, she's also done other things like researched how to make our own laundry soap out of um, raw ingredients and did that for many years and we didn't have to buy laundry soap. <laughs> so, I mean, there were times that she did these things to make sure that we had what we needed. Number three, my black queen is sacrificial and unselfish. She is willing to lay down what she wants and needs in order to take care of her family, those who are around her that need things, uh, you name it. She, she is quick to say, you know what? I think I can do without getting my nails done. I can do without having that purse. I can do without having shoes. For a long time, didn't have a cell phone. I mean, we just had a landline. She, she was able to do without all these things, and there's, those are just a few. There are many more that she did without and sacrificed in order to make sure that others could have. She's very unselfish. She thinks of, she thinks of me before she thinks of herself, and it's admirable and amazing, and I don't give her enough credit for it. So I just wanted to share that. She's unselfish and she's sacrificial and I love that about her. Number four, my black queen is persistent and brave. What I mean is life doesn't just give you what you want. Uh, you have to work at it. And, and for her, I, she's faced a lot of times when life was exceptionally hard for her to get through. And she's persistent. She doesn't give up. She doesn't stop after the first obstacle. She keeps going and going. She doesn't give up. And she's brave. She's, she's um, even though someone might be intimidating or a situation might be intimidating, 
She does not let that stop her. You know, bravery isn't the absence of fear. It's the willingness to continue with what you want to do, even if there is some fear there. And she can do that. She's persistent and she's brave. Number five, my black queen is confrontational and loving. Now, I know you're thinking, wait a minute, how is that a positive quality? Listen up. If you have someone with you and around you that's not willing to help confront the things in you that need changing, the, the issues that you have, the shortcomings, the, the negative attributes that can, that can change and grow if you work on them, if someone doesn't address those things, that's not being loving. My wife loves enough to say, you know what, honey, here's an area you could do better in. And I appreciate that. I'm grateful that I was given someone, a helper to me, that is, is loving enough to say, you can get better in this way, and here's how. And hopefully, I'm humble enough to say, you know what, you're right. I want to do better at that. <laughs> Number six reason. My wife is intelligent and wise. And I understand that a lot of this is, is given, you know, at birth already. But she works hard to understand things, um, to research things, to know things. She is, she's extremely capable. She's very intelligent. She's always learning. She's always wanting to understand why something works the way it does. And she's quick to, to look something up, to research it, to know it. She's a smart lady from the jump. She's always been smarter than me, <laughs> I, I think. And, um, and she works hard at it, so that makes her even smarter. The number seven reason of what I love about my black queen is that she is a giver and kind. And my wife, Biname, she feels and understands and expresses love many times in the form of gifts. And so it doesn't have to be extravagant. I think it's the thought of the gift that matters, that you took the time to find something for her, and then she can also express love in that way by giving a gift. And she's done this many times. She's given of her own, you know, like spending money to make sure someone else has something they like, um, given above and beyond. Uh, even for birthdays for her friends, um, beyond what she planned to spend, but she really wanted to bless them. She's a giver and she's kind. And so that's the number seven reason why I love my black queen. I think her wonderful attributes are more than I could even mention. And in fact, even this short list that I narrowed down, I had to combine the words together. So yeah, I'm, I'm blessed I, beyond belief to have the amazing wife that I have. She's a gift from God to me. She's a helper suitable to me. And yeah, I, I just wanted to share what was on my heart in these times especially as we're moving ahead with our lives and we have the kids and all these things going, all the, the, the movement that's happening in our lives. I'm grateful to have this fantastic woman at my side and we together move ahead, my black queen and I. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And with that, dear friends, keep looking up.